Buenas and saludos para todos Samzo Tata Marianas. Welcome to Land 2019. Today the church celebrates or begins Land, the season of Land, and the annual ritual of turning away for at least our lives from sin are being called to each and every one of us. Remember you are dust, and to dust you will return. These are words that I and the ministers will say as we sign you on the forehead with the blessed ashes. Yes, that is what we are. We are dirt, dirt, nothing else, nothing less. The ashes on our forehead say that we are broken, we are sinners. They tell all who see us that we are beginning 40 days of prayer and repentance and sacrifice, and that we are Catholic Christians seeking somehow to reconcile ourselves with God and that we need to be made whole and that we are in progress, that God isn't finished with any of us yet. This is the great wonder and the constellation of Lent. As we enter this holy season, we should approach it with sobriety and seriousness. But we shouldn't make mistake that seriousness for sobriety. The gospel today reminds us, do not look gloomy. Anoint your head and wash your face. Turn away from the simple things that give you pleasure, to give you some small joy to another. We think of Len as a time for giving up. And I say this every year, but it is true. Giving up begins with giving. Give something of yourself to someone else. Begin by giving joy. And if you truly want to give up something, don't just settle for uh, chocolate or hamburgers or cheesecake. Try giving up something really hard. Give up turning away from sin. Maybe give up TV shows. Give up ra radio in the car. Turn off your cell phones every Friday for the next 40 days. Try to give up maybe iPad or iPod. Give up feeling sorry for yourself. Give up the me, the I a day. I look quick, I in the call, I, I, I. Give up giving up. Give up cynicism or jealousy or backstabbing. Give up gossip. Give up regrets for choices you have made or paths you have never took. Give up forgetting God's will for you. Give up always forgetting that the most famous prayer in the world doesn't include the phrase, my will be done, but thy will be done. You need help? Try this. Give up whatever fear or anxiety is keeping you from going to confession and just go. Today, Jesus speaks to us through his word and tells us that Lent is a time of self-denial, a time to give up something. But Jesus isn't concerned with chocolate, rice, and hamburgers. He is concerned with what's going on in our hearts. Let us a time in our lives, and it is a time to give up the sin of hypocrisy acting like Christians on the outside, but being proud and self-centered on the inside. Let us a time to give up the sin of duplicity, being Christian on Saturdays, on Sundays, but being an unbeliever on Fridays. It is a time to give up the sin of being lethargic. Someday, I'll get my act together, spiritually, right now. I'm too busy 
focusing on everything except God. Land is a time for us to give up sinful habits, our sinful attitudes, to go to confession and to ask God to forgive us, to wash our sins away, or as a friend would say, to melt our sins away and to empower us to turn away from our sinful past and to live new lives that are dedicated to God. These 40 days of Lent is a time for you to look deep into your heart, to think about your life and how you've been living. What sin are you going to give up for Lent and for the rest of your life? Jesus will forgive that sin, wash away that sin at the cross. And Jesus promised to empower you to live a new life that glorifies you. And as we, begin, as we begin that long walk to the cross, where we see just how serious and terrible our sins are, but there we also see how wonderful and how deep are the Savior's love for all of us. The road doesn't end there, but at the empty tomb from the dead to prove that all of our sins have been forgiven. Remember that you are dust, and to dust you will return. And as we embark on that journey and begin this holy 40 days adventure, remember one more thing, be patient. Be patient with God because God isn't finished with us yet. So today, as we begin the holy season of Lent, with the sign of the crosses, the ashes in our foreheads, a common and invisible sign of repentance, let us begin in a proper penitential frame of mind, seeking out our sin and disruption in our lives and replacing these things with a constant dependence on God and His grace. Today, with a humble heart, acknowledge our sinfulness and ask pardon for all our failures and shortcomings. And implore, be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Asi asena, asi isigsongmo, the unafan libriam let us abandon the practices of our old self and put on a new self. Learn not with trepidation and fear, but rather with joy. As the Lenten of opportunity, let us rejoice in our gracious God who desires not the death of the sinner, but redemption. And this is the good news of today. Have a blessed Lenten season, and may God so bless you. Amen.